spiritual nature of desire. You are not a victim of habitual patterns of behavior or thought. You deserve to have peace and love in your life. It's all about focusing on what you want at deeper levels than you ordinarily experience. Begin defining what you want in terms of spirit, examining genuinely all that you say you want, and then asking, what does this symbolize to me? Life will present the answer without a struggle if you hold the question in your heart and mind, wait patiently. Everything in your physical world is a symbol of something in spirit. There are no exceptions. Think of it like this. Everything physical represents a thought or desire of spirit. For example, you might think you want a beautiful home, but what is it you want? Perhaps it's security, safety, or peace? Those are the values of spirit. When you uncover what is beneath the physical or behind the curtain, then you are free to begin to shift your focus toward creating that possibility. We are not saying how you ought to think, only that focusing on qualities of spirit brings about the form that reflects that particular quality. Spirit creates the physical world, not the other way around.